So hello guys, thanks for joining. In this video, we are taking a closer look between the Red Komodo and the Red Dragon. The Komodo was originally also called the Baby Dragon. So in this video, I will take a closer look on how both of these images compare and whether, if or not, the Komodo is a good companion for the Dragon or vice versa. Coming up. So this video is basically a successor or a sequel to the original comparison that I made between Komodo and Dragon. That video I made an in-depth comparison and also including dynamic range and so on and so forth. But a lot of you have commented that it's hard to compare the test images due to the different ISO calibration and therefore exposure differences in both of these cameras. So therefore, we basically did a new test for you and also we have sample footage for you to download. You can thank me later for that. Maybe with a subscribe and like. But basically what we did is we used the exact same lens on both cameras and swapped it each time. And also to combat the IR pollution on Komodo, we used the full spectrum IR and D filter on both of these cameras. So everything, the lens, including the IR filter with the matte box, was swapped each time. All the settings were matched. ISO was 800 and white balance and everything was recorded in RAW, of course. And if there was an exposure difference, then we combated that with the shutter. As you can see in these images here, that we have a wider frame on Dragon than we have on Komodo. That's no surprise because the Komodo has a bigger crop, which is 1.33x and the Dragon is close to 1.2x. So pretty close to full frame, if you can say that. But all in all, the images color-wise look on Komodo always warmer and a little bit more magenta, whereas on Dragon it looks more green and also a little bit more blue, but you can easily adjust it by adjusting white balance and tint and so on and so forth. As I've said, as I stated in my last video, due to the different ISO calibration on Dragon, we have an exposure difference of roughly about one stop. Meaning if you expose both cameras the same way at ISO 800, the Dragon will appear one stop darker. That's due to the different ISO calibrations that we have on these cameras here. Interestingly, Komodo has a little bit more noise and all of these images just not by much but just a little bit more prominent i would say and also from the dynamic range as i've seen as you've seen in my last video that the dragon has a little more dynamic range and also we can see that here in some of these images we had a lot of backlight and um, very bright sky so as we see in the waveform from the komodo it looks very compressed and flat whereas on dragon we still have detail there and also if we see in this images there we also have more highlight detail in dragon and also more highlight saturation and also in some of these instances we had clipping going on or traffic lights going on on komodo in the green channel in the highlights whereas we didn't have that on the dragon so i think this all in all confirms my last test that the Dragon has just more dynamic range than Komodo. So yeah, what's my verdict on this one? So for me personally, Komodo is a great B camera and Dragon was always my most favorite red sensor because that, that's why I purchased this camera this year. And I love everything that comes out of Dragon and also on Komodo looks always great. So I think both cameras are match really nicely together. Both of them have a different look. For me personally, I slightly prefer the image coming out of the Dragon. It just looks a little bit more filmic, you can say. Um, the image is a little bit more organic than on Komodo, but also Komodo looks more organic than an A7S III or something like that. So also there's no comparison to hybrid cameras, I would say. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, then just smash the like button, hit subscribe to don't miss any of the upcoming content. And yeah, guys, wish you a nice, pleasant day. Cheers.